Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with my Week 14 picks. Now, as of this recording, there's only like 57 people, 57 people, who viewed my last week picks video for Week 13. And, as you can see, and we will get the uh, green marker out for today, as you can see, that might have been a mistake, because I was 10-3 and three in week 13. Now, um, I was 10-3, and three, and the three I got wrong were teams that should have won. I picked the Steelers to beat the Cardinals. That should have happened. I picked Kansas City to beat Green Bay, which they somehow did not do. And I picked the Jaguars to beat a Cincinnati team that has Jake Browning at quarterback. But no, that didn't happen. None of those three things happened. But 10-3 and three is the best record that I've gotten so far this year. This is my best week, 10-3. and three. Put it in the books. And now maybe, just maybe, more than 57 people will watch this week if they even realize that I was 10-3 and three last week. So that brings us to this week 14. So you got to think I'm on a roll. Now you, the first one is going to be the Thursday, December 7th game. December 7th, the day that will live in infamy. And uh, it'll live in infamy for the Patriots, too, because even though the Steelers are going to have probably Trubisky at quarterback, and Trubisky was less than impressive last week, the Patriots, as an entire team, are quite less than impressive. I am going to take the Steelers in this game. And by the way, I said in the description or the title or whatever it was, that there was going to be a bonus pick, and you will see that. So stick around to the end so that you can see the bonus pick. Um, so the next game we've got is the Texans at the Jets. This game is in New York, in the Meadowlands, whatever, but no, we're going with the Texans. The Texans should win this game easily. I better be 2-0 and after these first two games. Let me just tell you that. Now you got the Rams at the Ravens. The Ravens are at home in Baltimore. They're playing good football. They are one of the favorites to be one of the top like three teams in the AFC. Uh, certainly the uh, Chiefs are trying to take themselves out of that discussion. Uh, the Rams, though, are an exciting offensive team, but I don't think they have the firepower to match the Ravens. The Ravens have a lot of weapons and a good defense. We're going to go with the Ravens at home in Baltimore. Now you got the Panthers at the Saints. This again, this is one of those games, who knows? Both teams are terrible. And um, I mean, I just, I have, I got to say, I have no idea. I'm just going to take the Saints at home. I mean, they're going to maybe have Jameis Winston at quarterback, but Bryce Young is no big star. I mean, he's not shown himself to be really have acclimated himself to the to the rigors of the NFL yet, and the rest of the team is, I mean, they don't have any weapons, none. The Panthers have none. Uh, the Saints have to have one or two. So we're going to take the Saints at home in that game. Colts at the Bengals. Now this is a tough one because Jake Browning was awesome on Monday night. I mean, he was hellacious awesome. So is that going to be the Jake Browning we're going to see from here on out? Or is he just going to revert back to a typical second-string quarterback? Um, but the Bengals are at home. Browning did play well. He does have weapons like Mixon and um, uh, his wide receiver. I forget his name. But anyway, I'm sure you know if you're a Bengals fan. We're going to go with the Bengals. I'm going to give them the uh, benefit of a doubt. I'm going to give Browning, really, the benefit of a doubt because the other weapons that they've got are really good. Now you got the Buccaneers at the Falcons. This game might go a long way toward deciding who wins the NFC South division. 
The Falcons right now, I think, are in the driver's seat for that. And the Buccaneers are not. And the Buccaneers are not good. Um, I did pick them to win last week, though, and they did. But I don't have a lot of... I mean, I watched that game, and it was like... It was torture. So I'm going to go with the Falcons at home. Um, I think they're probably a little better than the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers, uh, they have weapons, but their quarterback is uh, is Mayfield, and he's not very good. Neither is uh, the, uh, the guy um, for the Falcons, but at least he's young and he's learning. Um, Ritter, so um, we'll see about that. But I'm going to go. I'm going to take the Falcons in that game. Now you got the Jags at the Browns. Now, as of this recording, we don't know if Trevor Lawrence is going to be the Jaguars' quarterback um, because he did injure his ankle on um, in Monday Night Football against the Browns or against the uh, against the Bengals. So it's unclear whether he'll be their quarterback. Uh, the Browns, though, might have Flacco at quarterback. Joe, Fl- the Joe Flacco. So I don't know. I mean, the Browns have a, a Super Bowl quality defense, but they their offense it really leaves something to be desired, and uh, it's tough to say whether the Jaguars are going to, like, if the ja- if I knew the Jaguars would have a healthy Lawrence, I would easily pick the Jaguars in this game. Um, but we don't know that that's going to happen. <sighs> you know, the Browns are at home. I'm going to, I'm going to take the Browns. They actually played pretty well last week with, uh, with Flacco at quarterback and they're at home and they have a great defense. I'm going to go with them. This one is an easy one. We're going to take the Lions. I'm not even going to, you know, I'm not even going to drag this out or discuss this game. There's nothing to discuss. It's the Bears, who are terrible, against the Lions, who are pretty good this year. The Seahawks at the 49ers. Now, I watched, uh, you know, round one of this game a couple weeks, two, three weeks ago. um, And the 49ers just ate them completely up. And now the game is in San Francisco, so we're just going to go with the 49ers there. The Vikings at the Raiders. Again, this one may be a little bit of a tough one because um, they they did get, uh, they signed Josh Dobbs, but Josh Dobbs looked terrible the last time he played. The Vikings were off last week, and the week before that, when he played, he looked terrible. We don't know who the, I have no idea who their quarterback is going to be, um, and the Raiders are at home. And that that guy that they've got, um, that new guy, um, Aiden O'Connell, I think is the guy's name. The quarterback, the new quarterback, he's pretty good. And their coach has them playing inspired football. I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb here, maybe, and take the Raiders. So we're going to. Um, We're going to page down a little bit. I don't want to give too much away on my bonus pick. Um, You got the Broncos at the Chargers. Now, the Broncos finally lost last week. They finally broke up like a three, four game winning streak by losing. Um, But the Chargers are just, they're just terrible. And their coach is an idiot, Staley. I mean, he's a dumbass. So uh, uh, we're going to go with the Broncos here on the road to beat the Chargers. You got the Bills at the Chiefs. Now this this game, uh, I'll I'll tell you this: the Bills need this game badly. The Chiefs only needed to try to hold on to the number one seed in the AFC, which I doubt they're going to do with the way they looked against Green Bay. But the Bills really need it just to even be in the playoff discussion. Um, and the games in Kansas City, but you know what? I'm going to go with the Bills here. The Bills need the game more. They've got Josh Allen at quarterback. Now, I know that we've still got Mahomes and and Kelsey on uh, the Chiefs, but the rest of that team just looks like a mess. So we're going to page down a little bit more here, and we're going to look at the Eagles and the Cowboys. This game is in Dallas. Um, The Eagles, I believe, won the first match. 
So, um, hmm. This is a tough one because the Cowboys really are playing very good football. And the Eagles just got dismantled by San Francisco. Um, and the Eagles are showing that they're not, I mean, they show definitely against San Francisco. They are not the team probably everybody thought they were. I am, I'm going to be a little crazy here, and I'm going to take Dallas to win this game in Dallas. Next, you got the Pack. The Pack is on the road against the Giants. Yeah, we're just going to go with the Packers because the Giants are terrible. They've got DeVito at quarterback, you know. So um, we've got the last. Now, this is not the bonus game. <laughs> this is the Monday night game. It's not really, you can't call that a bonus game. Um, so the Titans at the Dolphins. The Dolphins, they look great against Washington, let me tell you. Um, and the, uh, the Tyreek Hill um, Tua connection is, pff, looks like it's great. It's one of the best in years. And the Titans are the Titans. We're going to go with the Dolphins at home. Where the Dolphins play great. They've played really well at home, too. And now that brings us to the bonus game, because those are all the NFL games. The bonus game is Army versus Navy, and I am going to go with Navy because <laughs> I was in the Navy. So <laughs> because of that, we're going to go with the uh, Navy. Uh, we'll see if we get that right, and if we do, I'll count it, and if I don't, I won't. And, um, and you can, you know, and if you know anything about the Army Navy game, you can throw the records out the window. Doesn't matter what the teams, how the teams have played so far in their college football season. This is Army Navy. It's usually always a close game, but go Navy, beat Army. And so that is it for my picks. How do you guys like them? Leave a comment below in the, uh, in the comments section give me a thumbs up all that stuff helps and maybe this week we get more than 57 people to watch the video and that will be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off